Donnie Stars, we've been battling for a while. Donnie, <laughs> so lekker to see you and well done on <laughs> what I think is a brilliant performance so far. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Are you... Uh, um, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Yes, I've, I've got you. We can hear you absolutely Good. perfectly. Nice. Have you got Shamir with you? Yeah, some, uh, he's just uh, outside with a meeting quickly. <laughs> okay, cool, because it's, uh, it's uh, your, your briefing time now. Tell us about your day today. Yes, uh, I actually gave uh, Alvina a brief description of the day earlier. And uh, I must say, it was almost one of the, the toughest days for us. You know, um, we had such a good r rhythm going the last three days that uh, we it just felt so good. And today was very tough navigation, very dusty, um, a rough, proper Dakar stage, um, which brought us down to our knees again. And uh, but uh, I think tomorrow we'll, we'll come back stronger. You know, we've watched your progress. Um, through the race, climbing up in, in the overalls. And from your point of view, you've got to be kind of sitting back and thinking, lacquer, we're actually achieving something and, and quietly proud of your performance. Absolutely. You know, um, before we got on the plane, uh, you know, in my wildest dreams, I would have thought to, to, to actually end the stage tied for six which we did the other day, you know, that was just an unbelievable achievement. Um, especially for my first Dakar try, you know, uh, as a navigator. So I learned so much this last eight or ten days, which uh, it's just un unbelievable. You know, that kind of experience is going to rub off when you come and race in South Africa again. Um, and when you go back next year, it's you've got all of that experience and and you've got the relationship. Um, Hi, Shamir, yeah. <laughs> you there? <laughs> I'll give him one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shamir, that's taking the co-driver and uh, driver <laughs> partnership <laughs> back around to the interview. Oh, nice. That's a marriage. <laughs> hey? It's a marriage. Teamwork makes it good work. <laughs> Shamir, thank you very much for joining us and. And congratulations on what we see as a, a stunning performance so far in Dakar 2022. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we've, we're trying and we're giving it our best. Um, not to say it didn't come with some problems. It has come with some problems in the first couple of days, but we're dealing with it and we just keep on taking it day by day. You've got, uh, today I saw a comment, with you had brake issues where the, the brakes were going away again. Yeah, we've been struggling with the brakes from the start um, and we, we get it right one, two days and then it fades again. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, like today we really needed um, a good brakes uh, in, the, in the high speed sections and in the rough sections as well. And... Uh, you know, when you don't have the confidence in the in, in in the braking, then you're just not on the pace anymore. You know. And how's how's the relationship with driver, co-driver, navigator, steering wheel operator going in the car there? Look, it was uh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. The first, um, the first. Obviously, it's Danny's first Dakar, so um, the first couple of days he had to get used to the. The road books and the, the waypoints and uh, navigating with uh, cap headings and stuff like that. So it took a bit of adjustment. And uh, once I mean, I mean, you probably seen that the stage time started increasing and getting better. That's actually when when the the communication between myself and Danny actually got better in the car. And 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 now I think he's got sort of got it uh, dialed in now. <laughs> and Danny, is your driver dialed in? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know, he's so negative to go to the dunes, but he, he's become a dune specialist this last couple of days. Unreal. <laughs> he's unreal in the dunes. So I must say, I must take my hat off for him, especially and in the sand. Now, tomorrow you've got a lot of loose sand, we believe. Um, what's the plan of attack for tomorrow? Well, <clears throat> you know, uh, We've been making up a lot of places in the dunes because on the high speed stuff, everyone's sitting at 170 kilometers an hour. And there's no really, you can't really make up time because everyone's sitting flat out. 
where we've been getting good times is in the technical uh, technical terrain, sort of where we used to in like uh, the Botswana sort of thing. And in the dunes, we've been making up a lot of places. Um, so I'm not too happy with racing in the dunes, but uh, like Danny says, we, we got it sort of uh, dialed in. And um, tomorrow we just need to attack that dune section. I think it's about 80 or 70 kilometers of dunes. We, we're going to give it our best because tomorrow is probably our, our second last day that we can make up overall positions. Um, we're trying to break into that 12th, 13th, 12th, 11th position and we, we're going to give it our all. Uh. Um, every day we treat it like a new race and we just go for it. Uh, Donny, from a, a co-driver's point of view, um, what are the big, if you had to, to have a, like a breakthrough point where you, know, you go into this whole new thing and that's, everything is like a scrambled eggs all over your face and inside your glasses and all of that, and then something goes click and it, it clears up. What was that, that click for you that, that cleared it all up? Yes, it's so interesting to find that click. I mean, that, that first couple of days you are literally, um, I would say, underwater. Um, yeah. But, you know, after the third, fourth day, um, the click actually came on when you actually learn to, to navigate with the caps and you can start calling it like a GPS track, you know, in terms of the degrees. And uh, that gives the driver, you know, absolute confidence to get into a higher gear, into, in, in some, you know, certain corners and slower and faster, faster terrain. So, you know, um, getting the navigation to a point to, to match the, the pace of the car. Um, that was very important. So it sounds like your, your confidence has grown a lot as your knowledge has, has grown. And that seems like it's rubbing off on Shamir and giving him confidence that of, it just builds in the car, which gives you speed. Absolutely. Awesome. Hundred percent, so, Shamir. The um, I see you've got your motorhome is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> is it in ranking in size? Because there always is a, a contest, uh, the motorhome contest <laughs> in, in uh, Bobo. Roughly, where <laughs> where are you? Sort of, where's your ranking on the motorhomes uh, race? <laughs> I think we, I think we, we, we live in quite comfortable here in the day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just had the people from Toyota here today come and have a look at it. <laughs> but it's actually quite important um, to be, have that level of comfort so you can get proper rest, so yeah. you can go and perform in the car. No, undoubtedly, you know, uh, when we, when we did the, when we did the recce in 20, I think it was 20, 2018 when I did the rec in Peru uh, with regards to how we were going to attempt the DACA, my first DACA, and we said, okay, what's the most important thing for, for everyone? I said, you know, you need to be comfortable, uh, number one. That's the most important thing. Um, and this is why we opted to go this route. So, you know, the co-drivers, they can, before the electronic roadbook, you know, they had to work till 10, 11 o'clock at night preparing their roadbooks. Um, so we, we made everything, I mean, we've done everything in this moto basically to, to make us comfortable over the next 12 days or 13 days of the DACA. And uh, yeah, I think Danny's got a presidential yeah, suite absolutely. on the top of the moto, so he's living quite good. <laughs> well, you've got to look after him, eh? <laughs> No, I'm treating him quite nice, and I and I even make him coffee every morning. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in this this race, um, while you've been talking, I've just had a quick little look at um, at the times there, there. And in twelfth position, uh, three hours twenty seven behind. Thirteenth is three hours forty three. You guys on three forty four twelve, and then. King Carlos behind you on 344.40 and Brian behind, on, behind you on 345. So it's one mood of a tight race there. Yeah, you know, let me tell you something. I think, you know, we came, I've uh, compared to the previous Dakars that we've done, the guy is now, uh, you know, it's, 
it's flat out or nothing. That's that's the basically how it goes right now. Um, we looked at our position and we said, okay, we need to creep forward, but we also need to worry about the guys behind us. And today we lost a lot of time um, with a break issue and uh, a few other things. So, yeah, we got to worry about guys behind us. So, yeah, it's, it's you know, anything can happen. We're going to give it our all. We, uh, we're quite comfortable in the car. We're quite, uh, how can I say... Uh, we found our feet. We found our feet. <laughs> and, uh, Just look at that smile he's got there. Yeah. That level of yeah, enthusiasm. You cannot Donnie. take you can that away. That's from confident, him. Donnie. That's amazing. Not no, Donnie's, Donnie is like you were at Donnie's the airport, positive. Eh? <laughs> Donnie, is, Donnie, you know what I must say is um, he's, uh, he's very positive at all. I mean, even when we have problems, he's very positive, and uh, and and that helps a lot in the car. Um, and in, with regards to the pace, I mean, we were, for us, when we started off the deck car, yes, like I said, we were finding our feet. And eventually, as soon as we clicked in the car with um, with his uh, navigating and, and stuff and calling like stuff, uh, immediately the pace just came. Um, yeah, and splits. I mean, you can see some of the days uh, we were running top 10 splits most of the time. And, and that's just purely because... Danny's navigation exceptional and, and his calling was exceptional and, and that gave me the confidence to keep it flat out over blind crests, which we would not do in, uh, in the DECA. <laughs> well, to both of you, I've got to say, take my hat off and say super congratulations. It's been a very, very um, impressive performance. Good luck for the remaining two stages um, and just keep it going, keep smiling and we're very, very proud of you, uh, Donnie Stassen and Shamir Variava. And thank you so much for persevering in getting that connection to come and talk to us. So I really, really <laughs> do appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, thanks for, for, for putting us on the show yeah. and uh, talking to us. And um, yeah, now we need uh, fingers crossed and we need uh, positivity That's for the next two stages. We're definitely behind you all the way. We're watching your You've times gotten, as they go. So we, we got your and, backs. And, and lots of support coming through on the social media, guys. They want, they want to see a, a gazoo, one, two, three, four. So there's no pressure there either. But everybody's behind you <laughs> and wishing you everything of the best. Yeah, you take all our love. No, we, we're our trying speed. our best. We're giving it our all. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night's rest. Thanks. And be right. fast, be Thanks. safe, and have fun tomorrow. Right. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>